Hey everyone, it's Phoebe, and I have a great update for you all with trends. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a refresher on just like how you can add in trims and all of the updates, because we did some cool updates in like 2024.2, we've done some cool updates in 2025.0, and just like trims in general are good to have a refresher on. So let's jump on it. First off, there's a few ways in which you can add in trims. First off, like here, I can select this trim and I can use this little glue bottle and then I can glue it onto my pants and hit simulate. Look at that. Okay, so that, that's option one. One of the last updates, what we were able to do is actually use this option for, which is great for a trim kind of like this, or even a trim kind of like this, where you can actually like pull it through a section like here. So let me select this trim. And just to show you if I move this out, I can right click and right now it's activated. I'm gonna hit simulate and this is just like falling down now. What I can do is I can loop this through, right click, make sure this is active, simulate. And now this will like actively move within this piece of fabric, which is really cool, right? Like this is cool. Here's something to know about this though. Okay, and this is important for all you Windows users who have the option. If you go to simulate GPU instead of CPU, this will not work, okay? So if I hit simulate and I start to move this, it's not gonna work. Okay. Also, you can know that because if you select the trim, right click, it's all deactivated. So just know this can only work on CPU. So if you're going to do this, make sure you keep it on CPU when you're simulating and editing around. Now, as you can see, I was on GPU. This got a little bit messy, right? It was, it's active, but now this is a little bit, mm, not great. So I can take the time and just like thread it through again and using my tools and all of that, I can definitely do that. Definitely a possibility. Could also just rotate this, move this back, maybe rotate again, move this back, and cool. I'm gonna play around with this for ages, okay? This is one way. It's totally, like, this is a totally legitimate way to go. However, now what we have and what we've added in, which is a tad better, I think. I mean, I think this activate is pretty great. So don't get me wrong, this is pretty great. But what we have now is tax. So, when you click and select a trim, you can see right next to the cursor right here, it says use the tap tool to attach multiple points to this. It's pretty straightforward. You will go to your tap tool or edit tap tool. This is already tacked, but I'm just gonna select it and delete it just so you can see how this works. So what you can do is you can go to your tap tool here I can just find the right placement I want. So I want to go here and I want to go here. You'll know it's right because what will happen is the tax will turn red instead of the normal purple. See, red. Wow. Red, red dot, red dot, red, red dot. I'm also going to go here. good actually uh, do I want to do one other I mean honestly you can do as many as you want 
which is pretty nifty. And if you by mistake, uh, like move them in the wrong direction, you can always go to your edit and then move them around so that it is a lot better of a setup, like as you can see here. Never forget to constantly move your perspective because when you adjust your perspective, you can see more. And if that's not a like life lesson, I don't know what it is. Always adjust your perspective so that you can see more. You know what would be? Just go under. That would be the smartest way. Now, sometimes I have these really like cool brain like ideas and then I'm like, wow, what took you so long to figure that one out? This is a good idea, just so you guys know, because then you line it up, line it up, line it up, like right on top of each other. And then you know it's exactly where it should be. This was actually, okay, dare I say a brilliant idea. Look at that, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, that was smart. Um, and then I can do the same thing on this one. I don't know why I'm so surprised that I came up with such a good idea, but like, hey. Okay. Cool, great. Oh, this is not perfect. Okay, now it is. Okay, now that I've tacked this, also, just so you guys know, I can also use the tacks for this to make this easier and fit better. So I could then go in and say like, oh, this goes here and this goes to like this, right? And I want this edge. To go to this edge and if I'm having trouble selecting which I am right like you're seeing me struggle I'm seeing me struggle let's just solve the struggle I can always move the trim out go back to my tack tool and then I can just say like yeah this should go inside here this should go inside here. This should go inside here. And then I can just select this again using that gizmo tool, pull it back in. So now I've got my tax. This is good. Again, you cannot be in CP in GPU. You have to be in CPU. You have to be in CPU for this to work. I'm then going to hit simulate and everything's going to stack together. I can continue to like move this. I could actually even select this and freeze so that I can just move this around. So that this fits a little bit better. There's a lot of things that you can do to like help yourself out, right? I could also be using my select mesh tool, which would honestly be the smartest move, but I'm going to just figure it out without it. I don't know why, because that would make my life go faster, but it's honestly fine. I'm going to unfreeze this, activate, yeah. great, this looks so much better, okay, fantastic. I mean, am I going to freak out about it for the next five minutes? You bet, but it's going to be just fine. I'm just going to right click and strengthen. It's fine, everything's okay. You know what I can also do to help myself here? I mean, hey, this is actually pretty good because like you guys, I feel like sometimes people think that no, like 
quote unquote, people don't struggle sometimes in the software, where that is a lie, like a bold faced lie. We do sometimes. And that's when sometimes we get our best feature requests. I'm just gonna right click and unactivate. Great. just the sewing it's the sewing and it's the collision and it's just there's so many things on top of each other and Chloe's really like unhappy with it all and I just made it worse I really did I made it worse instead of making it better you know what would make it better if I just tell myself Phoebe you just gotta say deactivate and move past this but I don't want to for some crazy reason because I just got this thing called pride and I'm refusing to let this happen. But you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to right click, deactivate, right click, deactivate, and simulate. You know what? This isn't just a deep dive. I just turned this into how do you fix a problem? All right. Now I'm going to just look at that. Great. Activate, simulate, gonna go there. Look at that. See, sometimes you just gotta deactivate some stuff and like let it, just let it go. Just let it solve, like let them figure themselves out a little bit. And then you gotta set them up for success. Like, yeah, this is, have done this in the beginning. Okay. Great. I'm just setting up these two tack tools there so that now I can just rotate. Rotate. Dun 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 dun. That looked weird. It just did. I'm not always gonna make this longer. Well, now I need to make this wider. I need deeper. Okay. Great. Did I just make this a thousand percent harder? You bet. Um. No, I'm still setting my, I haven't activated this trim. I just want you all to know that and notice that. I have yet to activate it because I am literally setting myself up for success here. I'm gonna freeze this. I'm gonna ever so kindly put this through here too. I think that the problem, the side that was giving me zero problems before is the side that's giving me all the problems now. I love it when that happens. It was like, I was perfect for you, and then you redid me. And I'm like, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay. Success. All right. I, this is success. This is going to be so successful. I'm going to right click, activate. Simulate. Oh, wait. That's first. Okay, this is all activated. This is great. I am also going to watch this. going to make sure that this is all selected properly here to here with this tack tool here to here, here, to here. 
edited it because I was like this looks weird but I think I made it weirder when I did that it's fine it looks great simulate <gasps> look at that sometimes it just takes you a little bit of time to set yourself up for success I'm gonna delete this because I don't like lunging but it's active so it's fine and look at that. We just attached this trim real easy. I'm happy we went through that together. Now you know how to self-correct in case something goes wrong. One other really cool thing is this is all already tacked too. So guess what? I can actually close this if I needed to. I could fake close it. So here I can go into here and... I can attach this right here. Simulate. I can also change around. So here I can go to my edit tack tool and I can select it here. Edit. And you see how there's thread length and also tack strength. I can increase the tack strength or decrease the tack strength. I'm going to increase it to 10. I mean, this is as high as it goes, 10. If I decrease it down to eight, I'm like, let's decrease it down to one. And then I simulate, it doesn't pull it in as tight. The highest it goes is 10. So I'm going to simulate again and have it really pull tight. I might also like move it, but this is actually pretty good. And you know, I don't know if you guys see this, but it's actually like going through, which is super cool. So you can really like kind of fake, you can kind of have better closures now. But never. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all of the other videos all within our Clo YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed how to fix something. It was not in the plan, but what is anything? And thanks again. Keep having fun in clubs.